Hello from me, Mike Brummy in the Highlands. Um, I'm back on the Black Isle today, folks. Now, what I thought I'd do today is something slightly different. Now, I've done some of the villages on the Black Isle before. I've done Rose Markey, I've done Four Trows, I've done Cromarty. I've never actually done a video of Och here on the Black Isle, just north of Inverness. It's a lovely little fishing town, fishing village, uh, just before you get into Four Trows on the A832. There we go. I'm just panning round now so you can see um, Och on this wonderful winter's day. Isn't it beautiful? Now I'm actually in the harbour now. I want to do something slightly different today. I'm going to video the harbour here um, during the daytime but at night I'm going to come back and we're going to take a walk around the streets of Och village itself um, just to give you a different perspective on things because it's absolutely gorgeous when it's lit up at night. But here we are at the harbour. You can see this now with all the boats in here. Now this dates back to 1815. Now this was built to a design by Thomas Telford, believe it or not, this harbour. It has been extended. The Ock Harbour Trust was um, formed in 1903 and they still look after it. Now it used to be quite a very busy uh, fishing harbour. Um, that's not the case now. There's not much fishing done from here now um, because the waters that you can see out there, which is the Morrie Firth, they are heavily protected now. So the small fishing fleet that does operate from Ock Harbour, um, they have to travel further afield now. Um, they're very, very tightly managed as to what they can fish for. But isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous here in Och. Now you can see all the little houses at the top there as well. So what we'll be doing tonight, we'll actually be walking around the village just there. Og village itself. I won't be able to cover all of the village, but you'll get an idea of what it's like. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this little place here that you can see, that's Henrietta Street. That's uh, got all the low fishing houses. You can probably just see them uh, just there, the low fishing houses. Uh, we'll take a look at that. They're all white-walled. Um, now, just in the distance there, you'll see that hill. Just in front of the big hill, there's a smaller hill. You can't quite make it out here. That's Ormond Hill or Lady Hill as it's called. Now that used to be the site of the Ock Castle or Ormond Castle, but that's no longer there. There's no evidence of that now. At the very top there, you can climb all the way to the top um, and there's a cairn there with a flagpole on. So that sort of represents where the castle would have been, but it's not there anymore. So what we'll do, we're gonna take a walk all around the village tonight, but for now, just take a look at the harbour itself. Isn't it gorgeous? It's night time, I'm back here, it's night time. Now this is why I couldn't really show you the harbour during the day, because just take a look folks, it's not very well lit up is it this? But it's absolutely gorgeous, I can probably see more than you can. But there we go, there's the boats, now it's tides down, the tides out, and I'm just panning round some of those houses there that you can see, we saw them earlier. Now um, one thing I, I did mean to tell you, um, You've got all the houses at the top there. Can you see the hill just in front of us? Now that's where Bray Head is. Now Bray is the Scottish word for hill. So you've got all the houses just up on the top. And I'll tell you what, they've got fantastic views over the Firth there during the uh, daylight hours. And then you can see that the boats here, now these are pleasure vessels. Um, you have got some fishing vessels behind me, but these are the ones that are privately owned, yachts and they're taken out of the harbour during the winter months so that the owners can work on them so they're all lifted out at the moment now just to the right of me there just coming into view now you can see that uh, brick building there now that's where the wildlife dolphin cruises run from in the summer and they won't be operating at the moment but that takes you out into the Firth and up to Shannonry Point which is normally where the, um, the family of dolphins feed um, and that is really, really well worthwhile. It's just a small boat that takes you out, but it's well worth the trip out. So there we go. This is Och at night. And we're going to take a walk around 
and let's see what's going on folks it is actually very beautiful at night so we'll continue now to walk along Shaw Street which is this one here and I'll try not to fall over let's go down these steps I want to show you this mosaic as well because this is a community garden here now in the summer this is really really pretty and this is looked after by the community and again it's somewhere you can come and sit and eat your fish and chips or your ice cream or whatever but they created this little mosaic as well now this represents Ock and I'll try and focus in on that for you isn't that gorgeous look at that now just taking a look to our right there that's one of the streets leading up to the main high street now in the summer what, what they tend to do and I think I've mentioned this before on other videos um, you get people putting these uh, flower tubs all outside their front doors and you can see some there obviously there's no colour to it today now the other thing is as well lots of the property here in Ock uh, once it's sold it, it becomes an Airbnb or a holiday let which I think is a shame but there are still a few locals here as well but I think that's just typical of any fishing town or any seaside town now let me know your thoughts on that folks what do you think is that a good or a bad thing so all these streets are right angles to the shore and that can only be to protect them from um, any storm damage when we get the bad storms here the sea comes crashing over this wall um, and it can cause damage so we'll just keep walking along Shore Street oh can we just take a look at this look at that there a Willys Jeep I think is that a Willys Jeep it certainly looks like it to me look at that US Mail isn't that fantastic I'm pretty sure that's a Willys Jeep so we'll just keep walking along now James Street there coming into view just on the right that's James Street all the way up there and I've noticed that these cottages are actually red sandstone as well but aren't they gorgeous? Just take a look at that, folks. Now, all these streets, that one we've just passed there, that's James Street, they all bear the family name of Mackenzie, which were the lads of Ock many years ago, so they all um, were related in some way. Now let's see what this one's called folks shall we so we're still heading down towards Shaw Street or in Shaw Street now just look at that isn't it pretty I can't see a name on that one it'll be at the top there but I can see one of the houses up there on the left right at the end there that's up for sale just look at that and then again as we spin round and I'll try to be as steady as I can that's the shore just there now all these cars and vans that are parked are all for the residents here um, and I can see that the fog's coming in can you see that mist coming in now folks that's uh, really coming in now in parts of the places that we've driven through to get here today it's quite dense it's just about it's giving it that nice atmosphere isn't it don't you think it's giving it that nice atmosphere George Street there we go there's another one again we'll pan up there nice blue front door on that one now you're getting more of a view there of the um, flower pots flower tubs that I was talking about it really is great yeah so we'll keep making our way around guys but you can see these little streets there they're all interlinked as well and just wait for this car to go past there we go we don't want to get run over. And they're all interlinked, these little streets. We'll have a walk through here. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not sure of the name of it, but there's one there that's uh, looking a bit uh, 
in need of restoration, I would think. But you've got all these little alleyways as well, guys. Look at this. Let's just have a wander about and see what we come across. So I'll just pan round here, guys, because you've got the Gospel Hall here. Ark Gospel Hall, look at that, 1965, that. That's fairly new, isn't it? That's fairly modern. Nice building there. There we go, that's where we've just come from. I told you it was nice at night, it really is, isn't it? So again, what we'll do, we'll keep walking and walking and eventually we will come to a little bridge and that will take us into Henrietta Street. Now when we come back, I'll show you the, um, the new sports facilities as well because they've even got a football ground here in Ock. Coronation Park, I think it's called. Now I'm now a historian, folks. I always say this on most of my videos. I just say it as I see it. So if there's anything more that you need to know, just go on the internet, type in Och, and you'll find whatever, whatever you need to know about this little fishing village here on the Black Isle. Um, there's a lot more information and history than I could ever begin to give you on the few minutes that we're walking around the village. So please do that. Now this is one of the bridges here. So this is taking us over now the, to the other part of Ock, Henrietta Street. Okay, there we are, Henrietta Street, right ahead of us now. Now what we'll do, we'll walk down Henrietta Street and then we'll come back and we'll walk up there. That'll take us back up to the High Street. Right, this, this push bike, his light's a bit bright, it's brighter than a car. Goodness me, they seem to get brighter, don't they, these push bike lights? It's electric bike. I think he's using more electric to power the light than he is to power the bike. Now this is Henrietta Street, isn't it lovely? Now just next to us here, where these cars are parked, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but just the other side now, you're not going to see it in the dark, but uh, that's where the sea is. Now these are all the fishermen's cottages down here that I was talking about. They're very low. Um, and they're all white walled as well. But you can see just how pretty it is. I won't go all the way down, but it'll give you an idea. You've got um, palm trees and all sorts down here. Isn't it gorgeous, folks? Isn't it gorgeous? So we're just coming up to the white wall cottages now. We'll just go to the end of this row here. And we'll take a look. Now some of them are holiday lets. There we go. Lovely little cottages. What's that one called? Is there a name on that one? Yeah. Ta is it Tamara Moor? Yeah, lovely. And here they are, the low-walled, white-walled Scottish fishing cottages. Now that one's a resident in there, you can see that. And I think the next one too, it is also privately owned as well. But I'm sure one of these was something to do with um, the harbour. I can't remember which one it was. It might have been sold now and converted, but um, I'm sure there was, was one down here. But you've got all these white wall cottages all the way down. Yeah, I've found it, guys. This is the one, look. Now, this isn't a house. This is something to do with Scottish water. 
don't know whether you can see that it doesn't seem to be lighting it up but basically this is Scottish water so they use this um, obviously for whatever they need to do probably an office or something like that for Scottish water yeah this one here folks this one's got uh, a stable door there lovely isn't it that and there we go that's that's the end of the white wall cottages and then they go out into just normal residential houses that look out over the sea there over the Firth yeah I'm sorry about this folks but my camera seems to keep playing up it keeps going out of focus I think it's because the temperature is quite low it really is cold tonight and uh, quite foggy as well there we go and then that just carries on all the way down and that remember I was talking about Ormond Hill earlier Ock Castle well if you were to follow this street all the way down then you could get to it and that takes you up to Ormond Hill or Lady Hill as it was called there we go Henrietta Street here in Ock now what we'll do we'll make our way back down this way past the white wall cottages again on the left isn't it gorgeous and then we'll make our way across to the high street and we'll take a walk down there and see what's going on now the lights right in the center of the shot now folks that's where the harbor is that's where we've just come from just to give you the bearings now if you do think that you would like to see this in the daytime let me know in the comments and i can come back and i can do another walkthrough video of Oc in the daytime but i thought it'd just be something different to see it at night especially with this fog as well because it gives it that atmosphere doesn't it so we're getting close to the high street folks there we go you've got the stream there on the right hand side now those lights that you can see the bright lights that's where the sports pitch is so we'll, we'll get a better view of that as we come along um, yeah but now what we're doing we're just heading up towards the uh, high street now on the left there's a a garage for car repairs I think it's still there Burnside garage I think it's called very popular there we go and they've even got the uh, the jet wash there and that's certainly needed around here with all the salt that we have to have on the roads when uh, it gets icy there we go Burnside garage look at that now the last time I walked down here this was being renovated this particular building on the right um, and that looks wonderful now doesn't it that was that was really run down the last time I came and they've got the original look well they're not the original but they are the sash windows that's absolutely gorgeous now the work that's gone into that I can't tell you how run down that was but yeah lovely there we go so we'll just head up now towards the high street what we'll do we'll just take a left here at the top on the high street and I'll go and show you the war memorial bef before we head down the high street yeah folks this is the war memorial I wanted to show you this now this this land here in front of the war memorial the other day I came past and it was just a sea of poppies and there was a piper playing here on the grass part and it was absolutely gorgeous but they've taken all the poppies away now but this is the war, war memorial here in Ock isn't it beautiful and that's to the glory of God an affectionate remembrance of the men of Ock Parish who fell in the Great War 1914-1918 absolutely gorgeous and you can see the wreaths there the poppy wreaths there we go obviously it was Remembrance Sunday not long ago so these are still fresh
Now just to the right of me coming into view now. That's the primary school there, Ock Primary School. So we're getting a good view now. You can see how far back Ock extends. But you've got the primary school there. Now I think that's one of the biggest primary schools on the Black Isle to be honest. I'm not sure of the roll call there but I'm pretty sure it's the biggest one on the Black Isle. There we go and that's the high street in front of us. Now this fencing that you can see just on the right of the shop now that's Coronation Park and that's the entrance to the football pitch I was telling you about. Ock football pitch there we go. Now you can't see a lot because it's not floodlit but the sports pitch is further down. We'll go and take a look at that before we head down the high street. So this is Coronation Park, Ock Football Club. And uh, you can see all the sponsors' names there on the fence. Coronation Park, home of Ock Amateur FC. There we go. But not a lot to see. But in the distance, there you are, in the centre of the shop, that's the sports field. We're going to take a look at that. Yeah, this building on the right, folks, this used to be the Station Hotel, but it's not anymore. They're like holiday apartments now, it's been converted into holiday apartments. So you used to be able to come in there, have a meal, and stay in the, uh, the hotel. But now, um, like most hotels and hospitality, it had to shut. And it's been converted into holiday apartments, but it seems to be doing well, I think. It's okay, that's the main thing. Now, obviously what you've got as well, you've also got... Um, oh, it's still called the Station Hotel. But it isn't the Station Hotel anymore. So what we've got next to it, believe it or not, here in Ock, we've got an optician's. And you can just see that there coming into the centre of the shop now with the blue doors. There's some sculptures here. I'm not sure what these do, or where, where they were made, or who they were made by. But again, it's worth checking out. Now, I'm pretty sure, you can see the Scott Mid Co-op. Now, I'm pretty sure when I used to sit there um, on the car park, looking across the road to this place here, before all these trees were grown, I'm sure there was a house there that used to keep sheep in the garden. But I may be dreaming that. I don't think I am. I think it was uh, it was definitely there. But now the trees have come. You can't see it now. Also to the right there, you've got the Indian. That's the Indian takeaway. Cabbies, you can just see it lit up coming into the centre of the shop now. Now that's nice. But it isn't open very often. It's only open in the summertime. So that will be due to be shutting soon. What we'll do, we'll cross the road when it's safe to do so and we will go and take a look at the sports pitch over there. Yeah, so this is all new. This is all new folks, this lovely sports facility here. Yeah, now, looks like they've got basketball. I'm sure they've got tennis, I can see that. And maybe even a five-a-side pitch as well. Let's just take a quick look at that, shall we? I'm glad it's all lit up. And then just through into the centre of the shop now, you can see that building there with the T. The T stands for tenants, which is um, a Glaswegian lager that's very, very popular here in Scotland. I think that's the, is it the bowling green there? Is it? Sharing shed. I could have sworn there was a bowling green here. I'm not 100% sure. But there we go. Is it? So this is all brand new, you've got a five-a-side pitch there and then you've got the tennis courts on the opposite side, you've got basketball, so that's great isn't it for the kids, it really is. And there's a donation box there that you can donate into, there we go, I, I always thought that was a bowling green, maybe it was, maybe it was years ago. And then you've got the little clubhouse there. There we go folks, Gabby's Tandoori. and the Scott Mid Co-op. Now I think if you go down that street there between the two cars you eventually come down to the um, 
Freemasons as well, the Freemasons Hall, the Masonic Lodge. And then just on the right here, um, this used to be a beauty parlour, I think, but not anymore. Oh, it's the Black Isle Osteopaths and the Elindu Home Care. Now, I don't know whether I've pronounced that correctly, but Elindu means Black Isle in Gaelic. I'm sure I haven't pronounced it right. Somebody will correct me about that, I'm sure. Right, we'll continue to make our way through the high street. Right, so we're right in the high street now, folks, and you've got the church there on the left. That still is a church. There's not too many of those left now. They seem to be getting closed down by the week. And then on the right, you've got the Chinese takeaway there. Happy Garden. That's very good. Happy Garden. Margaret Street. There we go. There's another one. Take a look down there, folks. You see all the pretty lights on the houses. And there's one for sale. If anybody wants to move to Ock, there you go. There's one for sale there by Yopa. Looks a nice building, doesn't it, that? in good condition so that's Margaret Street now um, one thing that you're not going to be able to tell because obviously it's dark um, it is the colours of the houses as well wow that came close to me that bus now um, there's some that are really striking as we walk down there's one here this white one with red sort of window frames if you like can you see that but a lot of this red sandstone building that's typical of the uh, highlands there we go another street there that's James Street now we, we walked past that at the other end lots and lots of cars parked here then the other colourful building you've got on the end there is that sort of pink it's a pink colour with blue bordered windows now I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up but it is a bright pink and when you drive through in the day it's absolutely stunning, it really is. Now, just on the right, we've got this Ock Hardware Shop. Now, this is very, very popular. This is a very useful shop. It's part of the Fisherman's Co-op. Now, remember I said to you that there is still a small fishing contingent here. Now, this takes me back in time when I go into this shop because it is like literally going back to the 1950s. It really is a wonderful shop. It's fantastic. Well worth going in. And the post office is in there as well. And we'll make our way down here. Now I'm not sure if you can see it. Can you get a better shot of that pink now with the blue bordered windows? Look at that. And then those steps up there take you all up to the houses up the hill. Now that's Bray Head up there where you can see that house. And if you go higher... Um, there's more more houses up there as well. Bray Head. Remember, Bray is Scottish for hill. Now this building here that we're looking at on the right, this used to be a guest house, a very, very sizeable property, this one. I sound like an estate agent, actually. But it really is spectacular, isn't it? But now that's a private residence. What I'll do, I'll just cross the road and we'll take a look at that from the other side and give you a better perspective of it. There you go. That's now a private residence. And then you've got Alexander Street on the right there. Now I'm pretty sure that that place there on the corner used to be painted like a pinky colour as well. I can't remember. I think it did. Next to it you've got the Black Isle Barbers and Harbour Fish and Chips. And I'm surprised it's not open to be honest, Harbour Fish and Chips, because it's Friday night and uh, lots of people are wanting their fish and chips on a Friday night. Now you can see where we're heading to now folks, we're back down towards where the harbour is. Number 19 Little Cafe on the left, used to be a hairdresser's, is now number 19, cafe, coffee, cakes and light bites, there we go. And the, uh, the Black Isle as well, it's well served by the buses. That bus there, the number 26, is very regular every hour, which is really good for the residents on the Black Isle. There we go. Now we're back to the harbour. You can just see the harbour in the distance there, and we're back to where we started. So we've literally done a big loop, folks. We really have. And I hope I've given you an insight into Ock Fishing Village. Remember, if you do want me to do it again in the night, just drop me in the daytime, just drop me a comment down below 
and um, I can always come back and do it in bright sunshine so you can see Ock in all its glory in the daytime there we go isn't it fantastic so you can see we walked all the way down there Shaw Street and we've done a big loop so I hope you've enjoyed this video folks if you have please uh, remember to press the like button and remember to subscribe it is free it doesn't cost you a penny to do that it does help my channel to grow Brummy in the Highlands you can find me on my YouTube channel and Facebook page so until the next time folks from me in a very cold and foggy mock I'll see you all again very soon